And tonight, in a collaboration with CBS News, we're examining a crime that often goes without any punishment in our country. Barely half of the murder cases in the United States, in fact, end up being solved. The national homicide clearance rate is at an all-time low, and that's according to FBI data. So, of course, we wanted to know what is happening locally, so we asked Andrea Lucia to investigate. It has been five years. To this day, like I said, I'm still just trying to piece everything together. Bridget Williams still doesn't know who murdered her son. I could talk about him now without crying, and so I'm proud of myself for that. Grady Dunn was on his way home in January of 2017 when another driver rear-ended him, pulled a gun, and tried to rob him. Grady hit the gas and was shot. Dallas police found a video of the other car, but never identified the shooter. No one's ever been uh, brought to justice. Don't even know if um, people are even looking into it anymore. They kind of feel like the cases are just sealed up and boxed up somewhere. You know, that's the way, you know, I feel. I just feel like uh, it's just forgotten. I feel like it's just forgotten. Murder, according to the FBI, is the most likely crime to be solved in the U.S. But nationally, the rate of success has been in decline for years. Research by the CBS News Innovation Lab found in Texas, law enforcement normally cleared more than 70 percent of murder cases until 2016, when those rates started to fall. In 2020, the year for which the most recent data is available, it hit 53 percent. Finding out how our local police are doing proved harder. Fort Worth police report they cleared 72% of murders in 2020, but FBI records show them clearing 55%. Likewise, Dallas police report they cleared 78% of murders in 2020, while the FBI shows them doing half that number. Both departments insisted their more favorable internal records are the accurate ones. I press Dallas police to explain the rather large discrepancy in their data, which prompted an investigation. The department's intelligence division says it resulted in the discovery of errors in the reporting process. It's now working to correct its record in state and national databases to reflect the much higher success rate. In an email, Lieutenant Stephen Bishop, who oversees data management, wrote me, we are firmly dedicated to getting DPD's offenses and arrests correctly reported. Without you pushing this issue, we would have never known nor even looked at the differences, much less why they occur. Does everyone know that in a department we are basically going to be as good as our murder clearance rate? Most chiefs understand that. In an interview with CBS News, former Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall talked about the importance of the murder clearance rate. Her own father's murder in the line of duty as a Detroit police officer was never solved. I'm probably scarred today because of that. And so I understand what it means to others because I know what it means to me. You see it as a valuable tool. Oh, absolutely. I, UT I, professor Tim Bray supervised data collection as a former associate bureau chief for the Illinois State Police. There is some desire to know how is Dallas doing against our peer cities, right? Um, what are we not doing that these other cities are, or what should they learn from us? He says many factors can affect a department's success. I want to understand whether or not the types of crimes have changed, whether staffing levels have changed, whether the training of my detectives has gone down over time. Chief Hall told CBS News keeping homicide units properly staffed has been difficult, with departments like Dallas losing officers faster than they can hire them. I came in with 600 fewer officers than my predecessor. Same challenges. In 2017, when she started, there were 28 homicide detectives. At one point a year later, there were just 16. And one of the many cases that had to be reassigned was Grady Dunn's. It's just not fair because all families have the right to, you know, find out what happened. Bridget hasn't given up on one day getting answers herself. Hoping and praying that maybe someone will come forward. You know, that would close up, you know, part of that hole that's in my heart right now. She carries her son with her always. Happy birthday to you. And on every birthday, Happy every birthday anniversary, birthday. she calls police to check in to remind them their work isn't done. 
Yeah, we asked the current leadership at both the Dallas and Fort Worth Police Departments to talk to us about their murder clearance rates. Both declined, so we dug into the data, and one discovery we made is that a murder is much more likely to be solved when the victim is white, and the reasons for that are complicated, but we will get into them in our story tomorrow. A disparity definitely worth looking at. Oh, absolutely. Andrea, thank you so much. Thank you.